What's up everyone, it's Caleb. This episode we're going to talk about how much Python you need to know to be an effective Django developer. So if you want to learn Django, you want to start building websites, do you need to spend a few days or a few weeks studying Python first? Or can you just jump into Django and start creating stuff? Well, obviously the easiest way to figure this out is to start working with Django. And if you find yourself completely lost with the Python syntax and how things are working, then you might need to go back and study some basics of Python. You should obviously understand some of the very basics of Python, you know, how indentation works, how to do basic comparisons and loops, basic programming stuff. But some of the more detailed things inside of Python, I am of the opinion that you can learn as you go. Whenever you hit a new concept in Django that has some new syntax or some new thing from the Python programming language, just pause what you're doing and go study that for a little bit of time. Then take those new learned skills that are fresh in your brain and go apply them to Django. Now, before we get too into this, I just want to make a point to say that in the long run, I think it is very valuable to learn the Python programming language in detail, as this is the skill that's going to allow you to pick up new technologies and give you the most flexibility with your skills. Whereas if you learn something that's a little bit more applied, like Django, you can create valuable stuff. But then if you have to move to another technology, you might not have as much skills come with you, if that makes any sense. So I always suggest eventually learning the core of whatever you're studying. Same thing with other languages, you know, for example, if you're studying React, you should probably learn JavaScript. If you're studying bootstrap, you might want to learn the basics of CSS. Those core skills are invaluable long term, but sometimes the truth is you just need to get an application built and you don't want to spend a thousand years learning every technology in great detail. So you want to learn what you need to get it done. So here's the thing. When you're studying Django, you're going to be introduced to a lot of new concepts. And a lot of these concepts are not really used in other parts of Python programming. So you're going to spend a lot of time learning about object relational mappers and migrations. You're going to learn the model view template architecture. You're going to learn about websites, as well as if you are working with default Django, how to work with templates and get data to be shown in HTML. And then if you get into some more advanced stuff, you'll be working with creating APIs and consuming these APIs from the client. Literally everything I just said, you're not going to get studying basic Python. And those are probably the more difficult parts of Django. Understanding the architecture, understanding where to put what code and how things are connected. That's the difficult part. If you run into a syntax issue, then go spend 10 minutes or an hour, even a whole day studying a concept and then come back to it. Because I don't think those are going to be the most difficult things. The most difficult things are going to be understanding the Django architecture. And most of what you're learning is so specific to Django that you don't need to spend a ton of time learning the basics of Python. These are my personal opinions. Obviously, everybody's experience is different. I'm not the only one that feels this way, though. We've had Dennis Ivey on this channel for a live stream. And that's exactly what he did. He decided, hey, yo, I'm going to learn Django. And I don't even really have a Python background. And, you know, he was able to pick it up and build some really cool apps. And I think at one point he even had courses hosted on the website that he built himself. And now that he has a lot of applied experience with Django, he can go back and study any areas of Python that gave him a lot of issues and kind of refine his knowledge. So it really depends on are you trying to learn Python to be really solid at Python or are you trying to learn Python for some purpose such as building a website? If you want to get a website out right away, then my vote is to just jump into Django. Don't waste your time. Figure it out as you go. And then if anything is challenging you, just take a little break, spend some time getting caught up to speed on that syntax, and then come back to what you're doing. Now, if you've never used Python, it might be smart just to get a little bit of practice because you're obviously going to need to know the bare basics, which you can get watching this video here, Beginner Python, six hours I released. This is going to go from like complete beginner to pretty good. So yeah, in this video, we start from the absolute beginning. And if you look at the different sections of this, in just a couple of hours, you're going to pretty much cover the essentials of basic Python, as well as at the end, a lot of stuff on working with functions, which is a big part of Django. Basically, in Django, It'll be the case that 
if you request a web page, it's going to hit a Python function, which is where you do all the processing. So you should understand how functions work and how they return a value. Now, if you decided, I know I want to study Django, where do I get started? Well, I am working on a backend course. So this is basically going to talk about Django and how websites work, how to work with databases, all that fancy stuff with version control and deployments. This is all going to be covered in an organized, systematic way. And whenever I do my teaching, I always try to make it a point if there's some background knowledge you need to point people in the right direction or just to teach that information real quick in line. So you don't really need a lot of previous experience. So I'm working on this course. And if you want to get early access to the notes where you can start studying and be ready for when the course is launched, then I'll leave a pinned comment down below. These notes go in pretty good depth on things such as virtual environments and packages, which is a really important part of Django and Python projects, and really has nothing to do with the syntax of Python. So in my opinion, it'd be more important to understand how this stuff works than to understand the exact syntax for dictionary comprehension or some feature of Python. Because you can know all that syntax stuff, but if you're not able to take that and create a useful project out of it, then those skills are kind of useless. And to create a good project, you need to know more of the accessory skills, the things that surround your projects, such as virtual environments, version control, databases, and organized projects, architecture, and so forth. So those are my opinions, but I'm curious what your opinion is. As long as it's in agreement with mine, drop it in the comment section below. And thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.